Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Horace Bigelow and Max Ewe. This game was played in England in 1920. Bigelow had white pieces and he started with e4. Max Ewe played e5. Knight to f3, knight to c6, knight to c3, knight to f6. Four knights variation. Bishop to b5, the Spanish game. Bishop to b4. And both players cast at kingside. d3, d6. Is this symmetrical or is this symmetrical? Bishop to g5. Black to move. Should black play bishop to g4 or something else? What will you do? Max, you were played knight to e7, daring white to take on f6. Knight to h4. Let's take it back. If bishop takes on f6, g takes on f6, and after knight to h4, c6, bishop to c4, knight to g6, knight takes on g6, h takes on g6. It is about equal. Do you agree? But for some strange reason, black wins more gains from this position. There was a game like this played in 1910 in which black won. Let's have a quick look at that game. f4. Bishop to c5 check, king to h1, king to g7, intending to use h-file to attack white king. Queen to e1, queen to e7, queen to g3, rook to h8, rook to f3, pawn takes pawn on f4. And black went on to win this game. But let's go back to our game. In the game, Bigelow didn't take on f6, he played knight to h4. c6, bishop to c4, d5, e takes on d5, bishop takes on c3, b takes on c3, c takes on d5, bishop to b3, queen to d6, queen to d2, black to move. Max Jue thought hard and played h6, attacking the bishop. There is always a risk when you play moves like this, that white may take on h6 and attack your king. Bishop to e3, bishop to d7, f4, e4, f5, rook from a to c8, white move. Bigelow decided to go for glory. Bishop takes on h6. Pawn takes bishop, queen takes on h6. Bigelow was very excited. He was already thinking about a story he would tell to his friends. Like, that you guy is overrated. I crushed him in less than 30 moves. Black to move. Indeed, if black plays useless moves, he will lose. Let's play some useless moves here. a6, rook to f4, another useless move, and then rook to g4, check. Black must take with the knight, and then queen takes queen. Back to our game. Please pause and find the best defense for black in this position. Did you pause? What did you find? Max, you were played. Queen takes pawn on h2 check. Stopping white's attack on the spot. King takes queen. If king to f2, knight to g4 check. So we have king takes queen, knight to g4 check, king to g3, knight takes queen. Rats, Bigelow thought. What am I going to tell to my friends now? The game continued. D takes on e4, D takes on e4, king to f4, knight from h takes on f5, knight takes on f5, bishop takes on f5, king to g5. White king is thinking. When I have a useless army, I am going to do fighting by myself. Bishop to g6. g4. Black to move. Black played a move and white resigned. 
the movies Rook to C5. Check. White designed. For the entertainment purpose, I will show you one cute line. King to f4, rook takes on c3, rook from a to e1, rook to d8, rook to e3, and now rook takes on c2, bishop takes on c2, knight to d5, check, king to g3, knight takes on e3, rook to f2, knight takes on c2, rook takes knight, rook to d3, check, king to h4, rook to a3, rook to b2, e3, rook to e2, bishop to b1, king to g3, bishop takes on a2. King to f3, bishop to c4, rook to e1, e2, king to f2, and perhaps pushing the pawn on the queen side, which one? b5. And I guess we can stop here. And let's go back to this very interesting moment of the game. This is the position. Did you find that killer defense from Max Uwe? If you did, congratulations. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.